let us uh, today discuss item rate tenders percentage rate tenders and epc tenders uh, let us also discuss when one should invite item rate tender or percentage rate, rate tender or epc tender and let us understand a little bit about these tenders first uh, let us start with item rate and percentage tenders we know that in item rate tenders and percentage rate tenders designs and drawings are to be prepared by the owner and the contractor will be paid as per the rates quoted by him against the items uh, in uh, item rate tenders we know that the items are prepared and the rates are quoted by the contractor against each item and these rates will be different from the rates estimated by the owner and estimated rates as estimated by the owner are not mentioned in the tender document or bid document in percentage tenders uh, these rates are mentioned and the contractor quotes the rate overall rates above or below the estimated rates of the owner now uh, in both the cases uh, the bill of quantities or boq what we call is prepared by the owner therefore this boq has to be as much accurate as possible and uh, how will it be let us understand it would be possible only if all the drawings whether architectural drawings structural drawings enm drawings hvac drawings landscape drawings plumbing drawings etc etc they are all available with the person with the engineer who is preparing the boq it means all the drawings and details are to be finalized are to be mentioned in the form of drawings and then they are available then only boq can be prepared accurately as we have already discussed that boq has to be accurate as possible uh, as far as possible uh then uh, we know we also know that uh, there is schedule of rate of uh, various organizations or departments and in schedule of rates mostly items are time tested because suppose there is some some mistake in some item and some engineer or some other, some other person will point it out and then this is corrected so in schedule of rates mostly items are tested time tested hence we can take items from schedule of rates but all the items which are being proposed by the architect or designer they may not be available in the schedule of rates therefore uh, if uh, most of the items of boq are from schedule of rates uh, and the schedule of rate is not old so that there is a large difference in the rates then it is better to invite percentage rate tender to avoid imbalances of quoting the rates by the contractor uh, in case uh, the the most of the items are not available in schedule of rates analysis is prepared based on market rates uh, which is not time tested therefore uh, item rate tender can be adopted uh, however again uh, all the drawings and designs and details they must be available before preparation of bill of quantities or boq in many cases what happens detailed drawings are not prepared or they are not available with the engineer who is preparing boq and then uh, the engineer who is preparing or quantity surveyor who is preparing boq Uh, he uh, makes some assumptions of items and specifications therefore um, there is a variation large variation in the quantities also and also in the items 
those may be additional items substitute items or even uh, deviation in the quantities whatever has been considered in boq and this leads to uncertainties also delays during execution and also even to the disputes uh, then uh, epc contract uh, or epc tender document that may be adopted when owner is not capable of preparation of drawings designs and details uh, and even detailed BOQ. Then uh, what is uh, done is that broad specifications and performance criteria uh, that is mentioned in EPC tender document and also uh, stages are mentioned for payment to the contractor. They, they, then, uh, then uh, it is not like uh, the same BOQ of all the items as in item rate or percentage rate tender because these drawings and engineering is done by the contractor. In EPC contracts, variations become more difficult because in case of uh, item rate or percentage rate tender, uh, whatever variations are there, those are to be spelled out during executions and rates are to be uh, derived. Then you can go for uh, extra items or uh, substitute items but, uh, but in case of EPC contract because of uh, because this is based on performance criteria variation become more difficult hence it is better that uh, broad specifications and concepts whatever has been mentioned in EPC tender documents they are executed uh, as mentioned therein in the tender document. Uh, idea is that uh, we must uh, avoid the disputes uh, as far as possible in EPC contracts uh, more than even item rate and percentage tenders and, least, and at least minimized as far as possible in all contracts. I am not saying only in EPC contracts but uh, disputes must be avoided or at least minimized in all types of contracts but uh, more so in EPC contracts as quantification of the uh, quantities uh, uh, of the work done or payment for the payment that becomes difficult in EPC, EPC contracts uh, uh, and uh, getting balance work executed from other contractor that becomes further difficult uh, because drawings and engineering is from the original contractor and uh, uh, original uh, the contractor who is being uh, deployed or employed later on he may find difficult uh, to to assure that assure about the quality also and the quantities also and uh, there will be dispute of quantities also uh, from the original contractors therefore it is it is better that uh, we avoid variations in case of epc contract uh, in the last, I'll say that uh, more than the type of contract, it is the parties, both owner and the contractor, who make the contract successful, uh, which is feasible when owner knows what he wants. Uh, and uh, that has been very, very well mentioned in the contract document, either through drawings, BOQ and conditions. And then contractor knows what he is quoting for, uh, for all the items, quantities and rates uh, which is possible when details are available in the tender or bid documents. Details are available only through drawings, through specifications, through quantities, through broad specifications in case of BPC contracts. Therefore, both the parties uh, uh, then once it is done, then thereafter the life is easy and both the parties are to follow the contract diligently then it becomes successful thank you very much i am km sony uh, retired adgc bureau new delhi thanks a lot